Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. I would say that Scott is possibly the hardest person to follow on stage. Yeah, he's there. right up there. Right up there. I think Naked Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, Coglin, Dean Coglin had to just do it at the roast. Just because, because you're, you're slipping all yeah, over. Yeah, because you got to watch where you're stepping in. Martin, you said you weren't going to do that. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and I'm a fat cunt. Hi. Yeah, how are you doing, mate? Not too bad. I'm running out of ways to respond to being called a fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I just go, <laughs> like a sad... Ugh. It's just like, I'd love a compilation of all the times I've done it, watching you just get more and more sad. Someone will happen. do that. Someone I know will, they will make that. One of our and lovely fans. It will start off at indignation. Hey, yeah. what are you doing? Right, what we are you doing? To this. And, and then now... Uh, uh, you've you gone know through the full seven stages of grief, Quite haven't you? Quite literally how domestic abuse happens, Yeah, this. Yeah. And before you know it, I'll be defending you and saying, he's not that bad of a lad. Yeah. He is, he's a prick, and I'm going to leave him soon when I have the strength. Yeah, like, well, you know, you're financially dependent on me now. Yeah, that's I'm the problem. Up, I'm saving up the money that he sends me in a little tin. You're not, though. That's the problem. You keep spunking it on stupid pranks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what... going to keep you here forever. That's what you think. I've got some money in a tin. I'm scouting out women's only refuges. Right, okay. And together I'm going to get myself back on my feet mm. I don't I'll, think just, I'll just stay with you it's easier I isn't know it? it's like this is the first thing we've ever done that works yeah I'll just take the verbal punches and <laughs> yeah, move on with it well with it mate yeah. so we've got a dead good episode today though for people we've got one of our mates come in Mr Scott Bennett Scott Bennett he is a banging stand up he's he li just... he literally one of the best stand up comedians uh, on the circuit yeah. and today he, that you can see live. He's the guy that for ages we've been like, why isn't he fucking massive? And now he is blowing up rightfully. He's if I wanted to introduce somebody who didn't really watch stand-up yeah. to make them fall in love with stand-up. Yeah, just classic stand-up. I'd show them Scott Bennett. Yeah. He's absolutely unstoppable. I literally worked with him two weeks ago. I'm working with him all this weekend. Yeah. He's just fucking insanely good. Yeah, and he's that mix of being like really relatable but not boring. He's fucking yeah. brilliant. There's there's only a couple of reasons that I will get out of a dressing room and watch a comic. Um, mm. One of them's a buffet. <laughs> yeah, because that happens at stand up, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, we'll have the first act on, and then we're going to open up the spread. That has happened to me, bro. I've, been, I've done those gigs. Really? Yeah. I did one with a lasagna once. It was lasagna and comedy. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want whilst watching stand up? All the carbs, please. Yeah, it's always nice when it's always the food stuff in big letters and then and comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah really yeah, know yeah. Where, you, where your place is. Yeah, we're very much the coffee after the meal, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, totally. Um, so, anyway, he's brilliant. You get to watch him now. Uh, also, uh, if you are enjoying Dead Men Talking, why not? sign up to our bloody Patreon. Yeah, be like, ooh, I'm poor and I don't have any money. Fuck off then. It's three quid a month, <laughs> right? And for that, you get access to absolutely everything. Yeah. You get access to watch all the videos on the Discord server. You get access to a full extra episode of Dead Men Talking every single week. You get access to all the special content that we make, discounts on merchandise. When like the live shows we filmed, the street roasts we've done. We've got loads of extra shit we're working on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads and loads of stuff. Every time we can think of a new thing to add, we put it in the Patreon. And it's three. It's not one of those tiered podcasts where, oh, well, if you've only got £3, then you can only do this. But if you have a tenner, you can do that. Yeah, because so, we can't be asked coming up with better benefits for different tiers. So we're just giving all of you all of it. You can have all of it for £3. And there's over a 1,000 people that are already signed up and it grows every single day. So if you're really enjoying this, Come and join a thousand people just like join you. Join the army of the dead. It's fucking gross. Right, let's get on with the... Let's watch Scott Bennett with us. Editing. Hello, it's me, Rob Mulholland. Fat con, Scott Bennett. How you doing, mate? <laughs> that sounded like you were calling me that. Oh, definitely there not. There was not enough of a pause, was sure. there? Sure. There was a comma like, implied <laughs> in there. Like Scott's in very good shape, He's actually, yeah, because yeah. yeah, Scott is as well uh, old... Like, like you, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't say. I'd rather have fat cunt. I, I honestly. <laughs> All right, how about a fat old cunt? I, Ger geriatric. Well, I think you look like you could get away with like mid to late thirties. Right, but you're like 
51. <laughs> you got me as a, a wiry, attractive dad. You in yeah. your 40s, aren't 43. you? 43. Yeah. And, and I, do you know what? It's wonderful, actually. I have, you're the first. No one's ever said to me, you're in good shape. Really? Right. Well, I am taking Look at the that. standards of this podcast. I know. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what I need to do, is to just, you know, every yeah. now and then, get Freddie to just compliment me well, and surround is, myself like, with that. This and is then... what I'm doing on this podcast. You know how, like, uh, women who are, like, a six out of ten will get an ugly mate to make them look better in photos? Uh-huh. Right. I'm the ugly mate. You're the ugly mate. But they mate, put yeah. a wig on me yeah. and stick me in a lipsy dress yeah, that they we, got from River Island. If, they were, if this was a Tinder photo, they'd be like, oh, I hope it's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I mean, I've not been on Tinder for a while, but yeah. from my time on it, I remember that the ugly ones, it was always group photos. Yeah, and you had to guess which one. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was a strategy. They'd mask yeah. themselves. Amazing. It yeah. was as if, as if they thought that men were nice enough to go... Well, she's not fit, but I've started a conversation with her. <laughs> yeah, but let's be real. Men are like that. You would have been like, well, I was hoping for the other one, but this will do. Yeah, no standards. No. Absolutely no standards. But yeah, I've, I, I am not in good shape. That's the ironic thing. I'm. You are for 60. <laughs> Just added 10 years. <laughs> Benjamin Button. You are for 73. See, I, I think of you as like a sporty guy. Because you kind of look like you might yeah. like you, you might have had a football career that ended early from an injury, and now you're like you've got yeah. really into like tactics and you're managing me, a lower league yeah, side. I was going to say League Two manager vibes. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a sporty guy. I do, I do spin class. I'm one of those twats. <laughs> oh Christ, you're doing zumba. <laughs> I'm doing zumba. I know. I do. Ste- I do step. All with menopausal Do ladies. Bums and tums. Bums and tums on a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, because the, 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 with the place I go, there's no men. Yeah. Because they're, they're all working. They've all got proper careers. Right. And I go in there in my lycra and they're like... Fucking That's hell. happened to me once, right? So when I... Fu- what, go into an exercise class? Yes. So <laughs> when I fucked my back up, right. uh, about three months later... Um, and I was just I, I was just at the point where I could walk again. Uh-huh. Like, like, all right. Um without it being really painful, uh, the doctor and somebody else and some other fucking idiots. Everyone's... Had, fucking just discount. Everyone's... Yeah. The medical cause, profession. Cause, some fucking Some twat. fucking twat. Five years at Oxford, he's clearly a bell end. <laughs> no, but it wasn't, it wasn't all them. It was like... Right, so everyone's had back problems. When, when you get mm. to a certain age... Yeah. I, I can top trump all of you. Multiple tumours in my spine. Fuck. Yeah, yeah he, he was a very sickly baby. Oh, was really? Not a baby. When I was like nine and ten. Yeah. Multiple tunes. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> really fucking Even hit made it. that a top trump, didn't he? I know. Multiple. Oh, you've had one tumour, have you, pussy? <laughs> Just to make sure that if we were thinking yeah. of going like I had a bit of a spinal For problem, the, yeah. multiple, For mate. For the first eight years of his life, his mum and dad thought he was a stegosaurus. <laughs> Well, his mum, his, his dad had gone yeah, by Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, like, he's long, long since fucked up. Left. Listen, I like Jurassic Park, but I don't want to live with one. <laughs> Whenever you walked into the room, you go, do 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 Dad, I'm hungry. Yeah, you're going to have to make your own tea. I don't yeah. know how life finds a way. Yeah, uh, my back looks like a foam roller. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, everyone's got their own back advice thing, right? Yeah. yeah. And someone said, try yoga. They said, yeah. honestly, try really yoga. Really good for your back, yeah, yeah. And then I read, oh, oh, you see what it did to Ryan Giggs's career. You know what I mean? He got it's extra... not really chilled him out, though, has it? <laughs> no, exactly. It's better I... make you a bit more zen. <laughs> Who does yoga and then batters their wife? What a weird, <laughs> what a weird day to have. I bet those were the most flexible punches you ever took. <laughs> coming in at angles that, he was like Manny Pacquiao just coming in at angles that she never saw. <laughs> no, not the downward dog. Ow! <laughs> um, right, okay. Yoga yoga wife battery is quite funny. Sure. Anyway, I don't know how you'd batter someone from a downward dog was my... What you'd, I was you'd arch your back and then you come up with the uppercut like a okay. street fighter. It's like Wing Chun, this guy. He's worked it all out. Yeah. So, right. Um, I got there and I, nine o'clock in the morning, uh, Monday morning yoga class uh, in this fucking studio near where I used to live. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. It's too early yeah. for me, that. It's like having a job. <laughs> <laughs> What's your job? To stretch. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to look at women's asses while I'm bending. Well, that's what I thought I was going to be like. Ooh, yeah. going to be some sexy bitches at the 9 a.m. Yo, no, absolutely. Yeah, you've gone to the wrong class. No, oh my fucking God. There were, it was horrendous. It was absolutely 
<laughs> fucking horrendous. Yeah. Like watching these human sausages in the tight lycra casing. Sorry, do you feel like you can throw stones around this glass glass house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I bet they were all fucking... Oh, look at the new hunk who's joined the class wobbling and sweating but with your fucking inhaler. They were all like as well. <laughs> they were all like uh, sort of sexually repressed middle-aged women in their 40s and 50s. Yeah, keep talking. They were like, oh... Oh, all right, ladies, so what are we going to do now? Oh, yeah, she kept saying ladies because, you know. Uh, she saw your tits. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, that pre-op's got a long way to go. <laughs> Good on you for getting started. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to move our shoulders and we're going to push our backs out and we're going to arch our tummies up. And you, literally after everything, you're like, oh, I wish my Derek could do me like that. And it was like, fuck off, love. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Imagine if it was the other way around. Round. Imagine if it was the other way around and it was a bunch of young hot women and me and all no, it's one young hot woman and Sorry, me... are you the are you the hot person? You're the young hot person in this <laughs> yes, analogy. Compared to them. Yes. Uh, it's amazing. And me and all my, it's and staggering. Me and all my mates. Oh, I'd love to fuck you up the ass like that. That's. I felt objectified, Robert. I mean, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. That was literally your crowd work at our, our gig the other night. Was it? <laughs> Do you not remember harassing those women in the crowd? No. <laughs> I'd had a few beers. You'd had a few I've beers. I've had a few uh, brewskis. What, not, what do happened? Do you not remember the young girls where you, you pointed out that one of them was clearly fitter than the other? Oh, yeah. Then <laughs> dem- demanded her Instagram details and then shouted at another woman who wasn't enjoying it shut up I, I like i'm getting paid to objectify women right now was what you said <laughs> just flooding back you can see it <laughs> just you can see it just the, the waves of it yeah, coming back celine dion's coming in <laughs> and they were it's like, all coming back to yeah. me so the, I, like we did our first live show the other night um like we, re- we record these in advance yeah. so you know like um but yeah so we did it the other night it was fucking great we had a right time but there was one table of civil servants who'd come and had not known what, what civil, was happening. What is civil servant? You're just like uh, admin for the government, basically. Yeah, right? like, but it you're covers, not attached to it covers government. So it, covers shit, so, it, it? it covers everything from I work at the receptionist at the council mm-hmm. to I work for the police. I've got and, the yeah. nuclear codes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, and uh, you, you, a bin man is technically a civil servant. Yeah, but like, it's more for like the office workers that use the title. Yeah, but, but yeah. they. I, I almost feel like they get trained to throw it in there mm. as a catch-all. So yeah. they fucking hated it. Yeah. It was... So, like, one guy had, had bought tickets. Right. And, like, gone, we'll all go to a comedy show. Right. And it wasn't a, a normal comedy show. No. No. It was your night. It was a little bit more industrial. <laughs> he comes out, done 10 minutes on hot yoga. Yeah, he's like, Where, where's the fucking slags at? <laughs> I mean, that wasn't far off by the sounds no, of things. No, it wasn't wild, so. <laughs> um, uh, We had people roast each other. It was brutal. Yeah. And then in the middle section, we had two acts on in the middle section that it's we hadn't so heard fun. of before we didn't know. And Just so complete we, blind we booked A couple and, of open spots blind. Yeah, yeah. and so we thought, Classic. well, this might be shit. So what we did was we got our guest judge, Ishan Akbar, to stand in between them, and every time they did a shit joke, he'd have shaving foam pies, and he'd just smash them in the purse. Now, you see, this is what the circuit's missing. <laughs> exactly! This level of instant judgment, because on a weekend, you'd be smashing through some right pies, wouldn't it? Well, exactly, mate. If, if you do if you do that, what is the fucking... If you do the check shirt gag again, mate. Yeah, if you yeah. do the... If you uh, do broke back Mountain. If you do broke back Mountain, you're, you're getting, getting pied. Bang, do you know pied. What, do you know what was great as well, though, is the the audience was so well trained that by maybe three jokes in, when it one didn't land, they just pie. Yeah, just like, the whole crowd would just go pie. pie. Just look to the pie. Yeah, yeah. pie in that mate. They were, that. they were almost pie themselves. Bless the body. They were like, yeah, that probably does deserve it. Yeah, it was right. <laughs> halfway the, the halfway t- through the setup, just pie me. You just could, pie me. There was a couple where you could tell a pie was coming. They'd like stumble <laughs> over the setup, there and was, it's like they're about to get was, a fucking there was, pie in. There's one that bless his heart. The bit was so shit that everyone was like, "Is that it?" Yeah, it's like, like oh. it genuinely sounded like the setup I, was the joke. He was like, he was like, I, we all went, "Was that it?" And he went. Well, I'd love to say no, but yes. <laughs> you know what, do you know what's going to be really weird, though, is in like 10 years' time when they end up being superstars. I know, this is it. And then they'll say, what comic. was the moment? Well, I remember I was at this uh, podcast thing. They're no longer around. One of them died. Um, <laughs> the other high, one got arrested. High, high BMI. The other one had a weird spine. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can see him now. He's sort of bent over like a cashew nut. You know that guy walking. 
<laughs> you know the guy walking around Manchester who just looks at fucking gravel? He was famous. He was famous one day. If you want to just show how bad it is, chuck some money on the floor. He struggles. He just he knows he used to get it, but he can't get it. He can see him soccer walking around just bent over. Face like tracing paper. You know that guy? <laughs> anyway, they got us on this podcast. And remember, I had to do this first ever gig. I was full of confidence. And they introduced this pie in. And uh, do you know what? I got I got back home and I cried. I cried. And I thought, I am never, that is a low for me. I've had my career not low now. I can only get better. Yeah. And they'll be saying that when they're on telly. It'll be beautiful, mate. And then got, I'm now playing arenas. Yeah. And it was just because of those two <laughs> pieing me. If they hadn't pied me, You've set him on a. You've yeah. set them on a career. See, I genuinely had a moment like that when I was like an open spot where it was so bad that I was like, "This isn't happening to me again." And I chucked everything I had and I started again. and I got loads better. Oh really? Yeah. So like the old frog and like so we were at the Frog and Bucket doing our show the other night. But you Amazing. remember the Preston Frog? Yes, yeah. I remember the Preston Frog. So they used to have a venue in Preston for anyone who doesn't know, and Preston is one of the worst places in the country to do comedy. Like the, I disagree mm, enormously. It's, it's a void full of fucking morons. Is it, or are they you are one of the worst comedians? So <laughs> thick, so thick. Everyone in that inbred fuckwit town, right? Oh, they're, I'm they're sorry. Awful. As Freddie opposed to is the, the lightest man from Preston. As opposed, to, as, as opposed to the cultural melting pot that is North Yorkshire. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah, nothing. nothing <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing yeah. but highbrow intellectuals in rural is it North yeah. Yorkshire. Yeah, Nesbury, though, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They're, no, they're known Nesbury's for their intellect. Nesbury's a lot nicer than Preston. When the highlight of the year is a sponsored bed. Push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nersborough bed race is banging. But right. what? Sorry, Nersborough bed race. Yeah. We'll, we'll... And you have the temerity to speak of the city of Preston yeah. in such ill tones. Yes, I do. Preston. Shit. And you push fucking beds round. It's a great event. You daft nothing should... bread town. Genuinely, we should go this year. It's an amazing event. We'll go. Can we'll... we sponsor a bed? Yes. All right, this is happening. Anyway, we'll get back to bed race. Well, so Preston. So I was at the Preston Frog, right? And I was doing their beat the frog there. Right. And like I was on last, and there was like you know like 10 12 acts whatever it was and like it'd been one of them where it was like the audience were like dead quiet and subdued yeah. and they just hadn't gonged anyone like they just let like, wow. everyone through like you know just <laughs> fuck off yorkshire boy essentially <laughs> so like people are like dying on their ass for five minutes like yeah. no laughs and they're still getting through and before wow. i went on and i wish i could remember who the compo was but i can't yeah the compare before I went on last went, you know, you can gong people. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. So yeah. now that. it's the point where they go, yeah. all that venom, yeah. all that bitterness, this is your guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I did four minutes 57 of the five minutes and got gonged. Right. Wow. Oh, that's great. So then I had to stand at the back while they did a clap. They went, everyone who got through, come up to the yeah. stage. So everyone else went up to the stage while I stood at the back by the bar. Yeah. And I drove home and I was just like, this is not happening to me. And it okay. was like properly like my moment so where I was like, just throwing, a wake up call. Yeah. So just throwing this out there. Why in that story do you blame the people of Preston? Because they were thick as fuck. Right, that's not the, that's not just that. That's reason. the compa. Yeah. He's held it against the city because he can't remember. Not the MC. just that. It's I have done many gigs in Preston, and every single one has been full of fucking fuckwits. Like every single one. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, can't, I can't defend it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Preston Guildhall was the worst gig I've ever had in my life. I, oh, I, I watched, died um, solidly for twenty minutes. I watched. I watched someone punch Roger Monkhouse. Fucking hell! Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a company owner. Who was at the front being all fucking yabby and yeah. yabby? Not yabby. a word. You know, being all Australian, mate, <laughs> from the Yabby Creek. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. In a sea of all right, lads, you heard a good day, mate. Yeah, yeah. Do some fucking jokes. Yeah. Um, I don't like your sandals, mate. <laughs> <laughs> was Roger in his sandals and shorts? Uh, yes, he was. Yeah. Amazing. Roger Monkhouse's summer look is. Yeah. yeah, but it was like October. Do you know it was I mean? an all-year-round look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he destroyed this guy at the front who kept chipping in and stuff. Yeah. And he mentioned, I, I, oh, I think it was the guy, was he, he was beaten about five times running. Right? Sure. And, One of them who just keeps coming back. And um, uh, he, he called him Baldy yeah. at one point. And Roger was like, is that really the best that you've got? And he yeah. just kept going, Baldy, Baldy. Yeah. And then um, Roger said, uh, well, the reason that I'm bald is because every time I fuck your mum, uh, she plucks a single hair <laughs> out of my head, which is like an old thing. Yeah, but like but twisted twist, enough. New twist, little that. twist, little, little twist. twist. The guy yeah. loses it, jumps the stage, tries to punch Roger. There's loads of people on the Will stage. Will Smith from Preston? We, we say, <laughs> keep my mother's name. <laughs> um, 
anyway, everything gets pushed apart, pushed apart. The guy kicks off, but he's he's the head of his company, and it's his company night out. Wow. So there's about two, I would say, directors just under him that are all like, Ooh, and the rest of the staff are like, we don't know what to do. I like, love that. Because on the one hand, he pays our wages, but on the other, he is yeah. a cunt. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they stayed, right? A massive big fucking fallout. It takes about 10 minutes to get these cunts out of the venue. Get them out of the venue, and Rogers starts again, and he literally, 30 seconds in, and another guy from the table stands up and goes, you were bang out of order, mate. His mum has not been well. And then storms out. Wow. wow. Like you have to get a sort of a, a, a feedback on everyone's mums. Yeah, before medi- you do. medical histories. Maybe yeah. she's allergic to Roger's cum. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the double down, isn't it? That's the double down. I'm I'm always a double downer. Like in that situation, you have to, don't you? Because you lose all authority if you start like backing off. Yeah. You just got to like. I just fucking. I mean, I've been called a double downy, but I think that's a face (laughs) thing. Just because you weigh as much (laughs) as two of them. (laughs) See, I've never been a. I've never been right. I've never riled anyone. No, because you're like affable, in it. Affable. I'd have to go some to get slapped. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, getting slapped. your, Your bits aren't as. Aggressive. No, they're not. But getting slapped on stage can mm. make do wonders for your career. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Made it, Jim Jeffries. Yeah, if you have that moment, like yeah. if you can get someone to twat you on stage. I think nowadays though, there's been so many twattings and there's so much footage of that happening now of like open spots. It needs and stuff. to be a it needs, stabbing. Needs to be something dead good. No, no, now, get, like, now it needs to be full sex. Yeah, <laughs> someone comes and shags you on stage. It needs stage. to go the other way. Like, wow, just literally stripped. Yeah. and then just go. Well, it starts off as a fight, but there's just this moment of homo like, right yeah, yeah, like a little bit of tension yeah. and that, and then you just like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. As you just go in for it, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> to be fair, if I shag to one on stage, I reckon that could go viral. Yeah, yeah. on Pornhub. Speaking of Pornhub, oh dear, I slightly worried about that little segue. Yeah. So, I f- remembered something the other day in conversation with Jamie Hutchinson. Okay. Right? So, do you remember last maybe twenty twenty? when we were all during lockdown and we were all bored and we were all looking for ways to make content. Yes. Same as now. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all. It's just, there's just too much content now. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, there's more competition. I I say every morning, as soon as I wake up, content, 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 it's going to kill me. Yeah, you you are quite highly strung though, aren't you, Scott? I'm a mess, Rob. (laughs) (laughs) Genuinely, struggle. Mentally struggling. Yeah. So, right, I thought it would be a good idea for content uh, for me to um, write some erotic fiction. Oh, dear God. Right. Wow. Have you and got this fiction? Yes. Oh, my and, God. This and is amazing. I submitted it to a website called Literotica. Uh-huh. Right. And I, the plan was is to submit... <laughs> the most unsexy erotic fiction that I could possibly write. Right. Yeah. And then main s- character, Freddie Quinn. And then see <laughs> whether or not anybody was going to respond to it or uh-huh. whatever. So... Are you going to read us a little story? It's one, I, of the, it's one of the lines, run your fingers down my bumpy spine. <laughs> Hold on. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a story, I'm gonna find some sexy music to put underneath. Well, no, don't. Um, so, uh, just a sec because I've uh, I have to Google it. Um, sexy royalty free music. Well, there's a gap in the market, mate. Because if you think about it, Fifty Shades was a long time ago. So, so I think there is a gap in the market for what you're planning. There. If if you guys would like to read this and uh, wank off in your own times. Uh, you can find it on literotica.com, the home of erotic literature. Sure. And the unsexy title that I decided to give it... That'll just put me off, so you have to stop. Um, the unsexy title <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> Denise always gets what she wants. Oh, I don't know, like, it's pretty sexy. Well, I'm in. Yeah. And, Straight away. Yeah. And uh, uh, you have to come up with a name... Uh, your for author the name. author, your yeah, author yeah. name. So my author name was Ludovic Julie. Ludovic Julie. Lu- yeah, yeah. Where well, he was a footballer who played for Monaco in France as a left winger. I just thought he sounded sexy. So uh, Ludovic Julie. Um, okay. Now it's uh, we're it, learning a lot about Freddy today. Now this it's currently been rated three point five eight out of five stars, 
and been viewed 11,500 times. Jesus. Fuck off. So, We're in the wrong game. This are, is incredible. There are four comments here, and I'd like to read you them. I'd like to you okay. to read us the story. Well, I'll read the comments first, then you can hear the story. We're okay. bringing it out. And it's a long story as well, so if it gets boring, just chop me in. Uh, so someone put, thanks for the read. Nice. Yeah. Uh, someone else has put, confused. What is cottage pie? <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's a, a reference. I can almost imagine what's gone on in that yeah. scene. Um, yeah. uh, Anonymous has put surprisingly good. I almost skipped over the story because the title didn't grab my attention. However, the story did grab my attention. Two surprisingly plain older people, husband and wife, with a sexual appetite for each other. That in itself is refreshing. I must say that I will be turned on by Denise, the 60 year old chain smoking tart. Very hot. And then, wow. and then finally, wow. the yeah. last one says people are into fucking everything. Well, this is yeah. it. So the last one, you can't make, you cannot make erotic fiction that someone won't wank the, to. The, right. the, well, yeah. I tried to. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the last one is reading this made me roar, uh, and they roar. roar as in cry or as in yeah. red roar. Roar as in <laughs> yeah. Rah! Or if they've rubbed it Red off. Red mate. He did the stand on a Monday. No, no, what I mean is, 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 is <laughs> nothing. He's is, is, is raw. Has he's, he, like, rubbed his dick down well, to a Well, he's poor. I'm raw after this. I've come so many times thinking about it. And then they put, good story, but could improve. Wow. I How mean, can you improve on that? Exactly. Yeah. He's had a crack in time Exactly. There. I Literally. The only my, way you could have improved if you'd have made it portable, or like a, a novel that you could roll up and shove up your ass. <laughs> 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 ah, you know what I mean? He's probably reading it on a Kindle. Yeah. I mean, granted, I am raw from masturbation now, but I didn't pull my do, dick off. Do you know what I am quite impressed about? That is a lot of work for a wank. Yeah. Everyone's so visual now. I think it's old school to uh, to ra- to really quite good for you. Do you know what the next thing is? You need to audio book this shit. Well, maybe this is the time now. In a Preston accent. In his accent. voice, yeah. <laughs> now, it is quite long, so bear with me. And if it gets boring, then but feel free to chop in as we go. It's very much the my oh, dad well. wrote a porno episode of this yeah, podcast, yeah. doesn't it? Right, okay. My fat wrote a porno. <laughs> Um, and it was published. When was it published? Um, over a year ago, anyway. Right. Look, everyone else in comedy is like, I'll get on YouTube, or maybe I'll do yeah. Twitch. Freddie's like, I'm going to write smut. Here we go, this, ready for this. This is a, a new career. Right. Denise stood in the kitchen, her yeah. withered fingers wrapped around a bench and hedges cigarette, slowly bringing it to her dry, cracked lips and inhaling the thick, heavy smoke into her chest. Holding her breath for a moment, she let the smoke dance around the alveolar sacs in her lungs before gently <laughs> exhaling a cascade <laughs> of grey air. Alveolar onto her- sacs. Just say that. Is, I mean, it sounds sexual, yeah. but it's also it's scientific. Alveolar sacs. I mean, I haven't heard of alveolar sacs since my fucking biology GCSE. <laughs> I just love the idea of the she breathed in, stimulating the medulla oblongata. <laughs> Right. Which was also wrapped around her long, right. lustrous thighs. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're bringing sexy sacks, sexy internal lungs. Right. I mean, um, I don't know Denise's, but she's got some lung capacity. Holding, mm. holding her breath for a moment, she let the smoke dance around the alveolar sacks in her lungs before gently dance. exhaling a cascade of grey air onto her Primark woolen sweater dress. She So kn- much detail. She yeah. knew her husband, Keith, would be home soon. And so she Keith, pos- classic comedy name, yeah, Keith. Yeah, beautiful. And so she had positioned herself in the kitchen, pretending to be busy fixing tea, when really she was waiting for him to come home from work so that she might begin to seduce him. For even though Denise turned 60 just last month, the fire in her loins burnt with an intensity of a woman half her age. Can I just say, Yeah. I reckon, I don't know Keith, yeah. but I reckon, I, I reckon Keith won't need much seducing. Well... Yeah. <laughs> I reckon yeah. well, anything on the table will be fine for Keith. Yeah. Let let the story play out. Uh, <laughs> Denise had long had a high sexual appetite. Indeed, it was not uncommon for her to be vacuuming the shag carpet in the living room whilst keeping half an shag. eye on, whilst keeping half an eye on cash in the attic one minute, only to be suddenly overcome with lust and find herself panting on the sofa with her f- fingers buried deep within her puss the next, her body <laughs> writhing and contorting. Sorry, to- sorry, we get this, we get the name of the specific sacks in your lungs, yeah. but, but you just went with puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, that's too much of a modern term for the tone yeah. you've set of yeah. that. Yeah. I'm <laughs> thinking readers' wives, pornography and yeah. hedgerows, thick bushes, <laughs> and, like and Denise- you've, gone, you've gone Denise smoking, yeah. and, then, and then you went, the puss. Yeah. And then you've gone, no, we've uh, gone... And also, I don't think Denise has got a puss. I think Denise has a minge. Yeah. yeah. 
Her body, a growler. Her body mm. writhing and contorting to the fantasies of being ploughed by David Dickinson. <laughs> Cash in the attic, innit? Uh, just then... Cash in the attic? <laughs> just, just then, she heard a key turn in the door. Oh. Mm. Keith, so... Yes. Why did she? Why, <laughs> why, why, yes, Scott. Why, why, <laughs> why aren't she locked herself in? It's weird, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, if you've got your fingers in your puss, you don't want to be interrupted. Well, fair. She, she could just make out the silhouette of Keith's bulbous little body through the frosted glass panes of the door. <laughs> I love it. So it's autobiographical. This one, I think. <laughs> Bulbous, I, th- I think bulbous. we know the. I think we know the inspiration for Keith. Oh, don't we? bulbous! Uh, it's like a Roswell alien coming up the drive. <laughs> Here comes bulbous Keith. <laughs> you know what? You brought in another child medical condition. Yeah. Here's bro- he's never quite shook that overactive thyroid as a child. They she called shag- him bulbous Keith, she's, or is he bulbous in the right she, region? Mm, she, she's married a fucking bulbasaur. Right. Yeah. So she could not yet see all the little details. His bulb. Holding her line, his always stained clothing, mm, wow. his, the flappy jowls underneath his protracted chin. Stop were you looking in a mirror while you were writing me. this? Stop pointing at like, me. we are four for four on description. <laughs> oh, bulbous. So uh, what was so what? Bulbous, bulbing oh, hairline. Shit all over his stains. clothes always. Stains. Look, he's got a big hair down him right at the moment. There. That's not a stain, is it? A hair stain. And then what was the other one? The flabby jowls. And flabby the, jowls. Right. right. Yeah. She, four for four. She yeah. yearned to drink them in, and underneath her sweater dress, she felt her wanton vagina twinge in wanton anticipation. Wanton vagina? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, cha- it... Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a light batter. It's crispy. Yeah. Yeah. Crispy wanton vagina. Um, uh, <laughs> Keith walked through the door in an unceremonious fashion, dumping his bag of tools on the floor and kicking off his sweaty workman boots to reveal his threadbare socks. He hung his high-vis jacket on a clothes peg. Say, we're about an hour in, yeah. and Keith's just come through the door. There's uh-huh. so much detail. Thank yeah. you, I'm building tension and it's anticipation. It's like Tolkien, isn't it? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. He I is. feel like there's going to be a, a song on the next page it's and then like, a map. This is, this is unbelievable. Um, how long did you spend writing this? It took me about an hour. Uh, <laughs> That's he, more worrying that it didn't take him long. He, just in his means head. it just flowed just out there. of him. He, yeah. just there. he hung his high-vis jacket on a clothes peg in the hallway, especially reserved for him, and proceeded to trudge into the living room. Especially reserved for Have they got little go. name tags like a primary school? No, but you know how it is. It, it, it shows routine within the house. It shows that this is a long-term relationship. It's a married couple with an established order of things. I don't know especially reserved, though, Morris, in the one he normally uses. Yeah, exactly. Does he say, Denise, get your puss off my hook. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Get cash in the attic off. It's a rerun. You know, blue team wins. Um, I know how you feel about orange men. So, yeah. I'm making cottage pie. Called Denise from the kitchen. She's ah. fucking not. She's a liar. To, says Denise. To yeah. which, to which Keith responded with a grunt of general she's, acknowledgement. She's making frottage pie. Um, <sighs> frothage pie. Denise. <laughs> Denise. I don't imagine there's any froth at sixty. De, de, I don't know. Being mortgage free and having a pension gets me sure. fucking wet. Uh, <laughs> sure. D- Denise. I, I imagine when you rub her funny, it looks like dry smash coming out. Uh, but no, but thing, do you know what? The 60 year olds, mate, that is a generation. It, it, they're rekindling, mate, honestly. Sure, but you've got to use an external lubricant. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Water-based yeah. lube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like my I think you, I think you can be in the glory years of shagging as a pensioner. Sure, but you're still I, not I really producing do. a lot of natural moisture. You might be having a great time. No, you, natural you, mucus. You only yeah. think that because you're six years off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're talking from experience, yeah. right? <laughs> Denise knew better. I'm not than... doing that zumba for nothing. De- 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 Denise knew better than to interrupt Keith when he'd just come home from work. He needed time Good to woman. settle. In fact, she rather relished this part of the evening. The chase. The mere thought. Of Is having... this what she's what? watching? She's watching the chase. <laughs> <laughs> she's done casting the attic. She's watching the chase. I just said that she loved this bit of the evening. Bradley Walsh. Yeah, and Paul Sinner. <laughs> yeah. um, the mere thought of having to use her womanly charms to seduce her man sent a shiver up her spine. Probably should be down her spine, shouldn't it, rather up? I don't know, ask Rob, yeah. he's the spine man. <laughs> if a shiver went up my spine, I'd be like... Brrr. <laughs> um, so like some played a xylophone. Yeah. Um, boom, boom, I'm, gl- I'm glad it's not scarred you. Know? Uh, as- I mean, it has physically <laughs> scarred me quite a bit. I didn't even know, yeah. but it's, it's your fault for being so fucking tall. Um, 
As she uh, as she took the cottage pie out of the oven to cool, her mind wandered to Keith ramming her up the arse and spanking her for being such a tease. <laughs> do you know what? I, I, do you know what? I quite I think I'm falling in love with Denise. Right. Mm. Well, she's a good because woman. there's a cottage pie on the table, she's and not then talking, it's just cottage pie in and between. And she's ready to get bombed. Yeah, she's homely. <laughs> Yeah. She's homely. I think right. anyone can make a cottage pie. For me, I, when I get home, if there's a cottage pie there, maybe. she is getting uh, bombed. As as <laughs> wonderful as <laughs> <laughs> that brown filling reminds me of something. Oh, uh, um, oh why do you have to lower the tone? <laughs> yeah, I apologise. This was Mills and Boone and um, started doing. That. As Keith sat almost motionless in a leather recliner at the far corner of the room. Almost motionless. Almost. You've really built up how sexy Keith is. Uh, Denise, Again, based on Freddie. Denise made a move. He's not had his tablets. That's what it is. <laughs> tablets, Keith. Your tablets, Keith. All my gout's flaring up. Crush him up. Put him in the cottage pie. <laughs> well, like an old dog. <laughs> Crush him up because you know I can't eat him. Yeah. Fact, well, later on, there'll be some mashed potato on the corner of the carpet. In fact, <laughs> is he eating it or is he throwing it back up? <laughs> Crush it up. Put it on the downstairs toilet system. I'll do a line of it. <laughs> Let's... Okay. Uh, Denise made her move, strutting in with a roll in her mature hips. The skirt on her sweater dress hiked up to reveal slightly too much leg. She seductively bent over in front of Keith to present him with a steaming bowl of homemade cottage pie, to which he duly took from her without so much as glancing in her direction. No, I don't like Keith now. He's treating undeterred, that woman like shit. Mm. Undeterred, Denise stood at the back of the room, waiting for him to finish. Whilst a part of her felt wounded that her advances were so easily spurned, another side of her was galvanised by how easily her affections had been cast aside. She would have to work harder than she'd originally anticipated. And nothing makes a working-class woman wetter than having to work hard. <laughs> Fucking hell. We've stepped into politics now. Aye. Uh... What a line! Wow. What a fucking line! Uh, um, <laughs> just written by Jacob Rees Mogg. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Get the food back, you slag! What are you using as lube, poor people? <laughs> fucking tears or something. Yeah. It's awful. Um, as, her, as her husband finished his tea, he dangled the bowl out with his right arm, a cue for her to come and collect it. Some would attribute the lack of verbal communication as a sign of a failing marriage, the unmistakable mark of two people with nothing left to say to each other. But Denise felt differently. She believed it showed just how strong their bond was. There was a telepathy between them. Words were surplus. 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 <laughs> the, the actual ironic thing of stumbling over that sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Aside from that, it was beautifully written as well, and I mm. stumbled right over it. Denise brought back. Uh, sorry, Denise brought his ball back into the kitchen and began stacking the dishwasher, carefully planning her next move. Oh, how she wished she was. She too was being stacked, except instead of washing up liquid, castading off the ceramic plates, it would instead be her skin being lathered with waves of hot, creamy cum. <laughs> <laughs> she imagined rubbing her man's jism into her swollen breast with a scouring pad. Clean scouring it. pad? No, I get a Brillo pad oh, on Oh, Jesus. How leathery is her skin? No, mate. Uh, cleaning well. her body with his fluids like she'd clean her own domestic appliances a thousand times. <laughs> her... I think you need to empower Denise. I think I don't yeah. like Keith. I've, I've gone off Keith. Her... He has got a well trained. It's not good. It's not good, Keith. Her... If I was Denise, I'd have gone years ago. Her... her lust was overpowering her thoughts, making even simple tasks like cleaning dishes fraught with obstacles. Denise could take it no longer. She marched into the living room, stood valiantly before her husband, and slowly sank to her knees. Keith. Remained motionless. Keith's not moved from. from <laughs> is Keith dead? He's dead. <laughs> is this like a weekend at Bernie's thing? The rigor is she going to knock off a corpse? <laughs> Keith is <laughs> glazed over stare. He, Denise body Savile. cold and pallid. He he recognised Denise's... Yeah, it's in, not an erection, it's rigor mortis. He recognised Denise... <laughs> <laughs> he recognised Denise's internal torture for exactly what it was, and he cherished the power he had over her. Years of their marriage had taught him the best way to control his wife, and that was with a strong, unnerving silence. She could always figure out how to get what she wanted in the end. He admired that about the wily old whore. <laughs> Oh, wow. Man. What? Wow. What? I'm right. Wily old sex worker, thank you very much. <laughs> was that Roadrunner? Uh. 
you wowie old whore. <laughs> she got all of her fucking clothes from Acme. She got condoms from Acme products. <laughs> Um, shouldn't have a vagina it's just painted on <laughs> <laughs> keep running into it <laughs> but a train comes out yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, wasting no time Denise's hands began making their way to his belt buckle once unfastened she loosened his jeans pulled down his tatty frayed boxers and released his magnificent cock <laughs> alright it's not a base uh, Freddy <laughs> well it might be at five inches long. <laughs> tatty, tatty boxers are definitely... Uh, at five inches. At five inches yeah, a bit long. ambitious. Keith's shaft didn't look like much, but he was an expert in using it. A master craftsman can make the most exquisite art with even worn tools, and Keith's tool was more than sufficient to mould multiple orgasms from her swollen clay. <laughs> <sighs> Wow. So it's, it's become hard going, hasn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'm in their it's, marriage. We're nearly at the yeah. end. We're nearly at the end now. Thank God. This has she, been longer than their she, marriage. She, I know. <laughs> How she, much of it's been prick teasing as well? She, yeah. she gripped his penis firmly in her hands, those withered old fingers resting on his shaft like twiglets surrounding a cocktail sausage. Eagerly, she brought his cock to her mouth as though she could not wait to drink his salty nectar. Denise nectar. was a proficient cocksucker, having over four decades of experience under her belt. Her gag reflex had long since been dulled. Her throat was now a long, slick corridor. <laughs> On occasion, her smoker's can, cock... You describe, that makes it sound like a giraffe. <laughs> A long, sl- a long, slick corridor. Yeah. No one's corridor. ever been described as a corridor. Um, just a it's sec. got like the same four paintings repeating down it, like a Scooby Doo corridor. <laughs> Fucking oh. chip kids on trikes biking down it like the shining <laughs> red room. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't want to see what happens when the lift doors open. <laughs> oh. uh, on occasion, a smoker's cough would get the better of her, and she would cough and sputter on her dick. But men never seemed to mind. They always thought they were choking her with their appendage. Her neck, too, had seen better days, occasionally clicking as she bobbed up and down. She had learned to use this to her advantage in her senior years, using the sound as a metronome to keep a near-perfect rhythm. (laughs) (laughs) Something's wrong with you, mate. I I, I swear. There's a lot lot wrong. There's there's only two more paragraphs left. Paragraphs. Uh, uh, (laughs) Keith Keith came... After just a couple of minutes, powerless to, ho- powerless to hold back against the cock-sucking juggernaut knelt before him. Denise... Cock-sucking <laughs> juggernaut. <laughs> that's a great line to call somebody, isn't it? Like, Shut, that you- sounds like a metal band. <laughs> <laughs> they think they won Eurovision in 2012, yeah. didn't they? Welcome to the stage, cock-sucking juggernaut. Yeah. Um, they keep really good rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> um, Denise was careful to catch every last drop of his load in her mouth gobbling up balls of cum like a hungry hungry hippo she enjoyed the... balls of cum <laughs> so is he jizzing marbles he needs to get that look yeah. I think that could he be should... gold stones that's yeah. why he's motion he's firing out gold stones like ball bearings out of a BB gun that's <laughs> why he's motionless most of the time he's carrying ammo um <laughs> She enjoyed the taste and what it represented, but she also knew firsthand how hard it was to get semen out of the shag carpeting. Denise swallowed... He's constantly reminding us yeah. that, 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 that a woman should be working. No, I yeah. think you've got issues. Yeah. Denise, 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 do, is, Keith can clean the car. There, there is, is the, rampant misogyny it's through It's unbelievable, this is, yeah. last, mate. Last, last, last... I'm, a, I'm appalled. Oh, it's, I'm making, frankly... it's making me a feminist. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Rampant misogyny in pornography? Well, I never. Yeah, but like erotic fiction isn't generally more skewed towards women because, like, you know, men like looking at I was trying to that. make the least sexy thing possible. Well, well so... you fucking smashed right, it. Well, last, last, last paragraph. <laughs> Denise swallowed her load and stood up, hoping to get a vain form of praise from her husband for a job well done. He looked up at her and said, any more of that cottage pie left? (laughs) Oh, he's a bastard. He's awful. (laughs) And just to remind you that that has had 11,700 views and nobody has cottoned on to the fact that it's a piss take. If you well, want to, if, if you want to read that in your own time, guys, it's called Denise Always Gets What She Wants, and it's on literotica.com. Wow. Unbelievable! I'd literally forgotten I'd written that. Ah, uh, yeah, I would try and forget it too. <laughs> Genuinely astounding that. Does make me want cottage pie. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm starving. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking starving. Uh, yeah. What? No, I just. F- Why is everyone looking at me like I've done a bad thing? Because you have done a bad thing. What? You've written a really weird story about an old woman <laughs> drinking balls of cum. 
<laughs> but I did it to try and make the least sexy thing. But it's just in your head. I can't yeah. believe that was there. It just feels like too much of you has come out in the story. You've I'll revealed you what, yourself. I feel like there's all sorts of influences there. If we were to yeah. break that down, yeah. there's like a, 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 a an overbearing mother. Yeah. There's sort of like yeah, yeah, a, there's yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, a yeah. fact that he never had cottage pie when he wanted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in just, fact, that most of it's about eating carbs. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I've actually, I've actually never had cottage pie. Well, there you what? go. It's, that's the fantasy. That is the most erotic no, thing of the whole thing. You look like your entire body's made of cottage pie. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most surprising thing about all of this. So there's wish fulfillment. He wishes he could have a cottage pie. Right. Yeah. He wishes uh, he, he had a, a woman who just wouldn't talk to him and would just nosh him off and then make him a pie. <laughs> The, the wish fulfillment of having a five inch dick as well in the story. I think you're reading too much into this. I don't, th- I, no. I don't think we are. No. I this is so Freudian. It really is. It the really fact that, isn't. The fact that Keith is you. Keith's like really. not me. Why did you describe yourself then? You're like, a fat cunt wobbled in. <laughs> He put his tools down on a high-vis jacket. Yeah. That's not my job, is no, it? No, it's, again, it's wish fulfillment. It's you if you had a career. <laughs> I'd hate to be a fucking, like, whatever his job was. Like with tools and a hat. That's my least, like. That's yeah, actually having to work. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not all about me. It, it was just well people, coincidental. I'm sure people in the comments will oh, let us know go. whether they think that story is about Freddie or not. And I think me and Scott both have our vote already. I mean, can we not at least, like, uh, you know, it might be about me, it might not be about me, whatever. Definitely. It absolutely 100% <laughs> he's going, is. He's going, no, yeah, yeah. He's, he's starting to crack. He's, gone. he's going, oh, shit. Yeah, no, I, do, I do love can we not, I can, do. Can we not at least do agree? love David Dickinson. You do look like a man who have balls of cum as well. <laughs> yeah, you look like it would be lumpy. Yeah. Can we not at least agree? Gelatinous. It was, uh, it, it, it was well written. It was. I mean, I would I say mean, slightly overwritten. Yeah. No, but a I, little, little too florid. No, but my 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 style, my writing style, is to uh, zoom into the details. There's a lot of detail. Yeah. We had the lung detail at the start, yeah. which was quite good. Yeah, I think you could do with a little less. Could... I reckon that's the only erotic fiction on the internet yeah. that uses the term alveolar sax. I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> That's a claim to fame, isn't it? Sort of, yeah. I mean, the interesting thing is, in terms of percentage to the erotic moment of sex, mm. it was like 95% domestic life. Yeah, it was. It was just like a normal night, end. but she's thinking about getting bummed, and then she doesn't. She I, just I, sucks it, him off for two minutes. It's probably quite a good metaphor for, for marriage, in a weird Thank way. Thank like, but, but not the marriage no one wants, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's a cautionary tale. Except there's tale. a blowjob involved. <laughs> it's a cautionary tale. Cautionary. Right. What's the caution? Uh, because like, it seems like Keith's absolutely smashed it. He's come home, ate a pie, got I, sucked no, off, the, the, said nothing. The cautionary tale, don't marry someone who doesn't appreciate you. Yeah, there it's, you, there go. you go. No, but Denise seemed perfectly happy with the whole situation. Oh, I don't think she is. Like She seemed like she I, fucking loved it. Mm, I don't know. I'm on, I think I think it's, uh, I think Keith, I don't like Keith. I started yeah. off liking him when he come in and he's put his stuff on the hook. Yeah. And then that was enough for you to like somebody. Hook. Yeah. He had his own hook. At yeah, the start. Like, that's thought, a good lad. That's a good lad who's got his own hook. And then by the end, see, I, I thought, liked nah. it when he started mistreating women. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bit I really started. I was like, you know what? I can get on board with this yeah, guy. It's, it's coldness. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a? Do you have your own hook in the house for your stuff? No. Do you not? No, I have nothing. Do you like cottage pie? No. <laughs> I have. I have my own hook. I do like cottage. You pie. have your own hook. Yeah. See, this it's fucking him. <laughs> It's not me. It's, you. it's it not you. me. It's not me. It is you. I just have my own hook. You just have your own hook. of a cottage pie above it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just bulbous. <laughs> Stains on himself, I balding. I wouldn't describe myself as bulbous. Well, you would if you were trying to be accurate. No. <laughs> I'd describe myself as stocky. Yeah, I know you would, but that is a very much a euphemism, isn't it? Bulbous is like, a, is like a bulb, isn't it? Yeah, have you not seen yourself? Yeah, but I'm not bulb-shaped. You are a bit bulb-shaped. I'm not bulb-shaped. You look like a tulip bulb. <laughs> I'm more square... <laughs> Someone's worked in a garden centre before, hasn't <laughs> he? Used to be a gardener, mate. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I did, mate. Yeah. What? As a gardener? As in a do no, gardening? Fuck yeah, that's what a gardener is. Yeah. No, no. As in you, you, you were going and doing people's gardens. Yeah. He's working for yourself. No, no I was working with my next door neighbour. He worked at Dobby's for six months. Or no, you're working like with your next door neighbour. So that next... is the lowest effort you can get to find a job yeah. to shout over a fence. <laughs> well, he literally came to round. literally watch someone mowing the lawn and go. Yeah. Not even that's the level of imagination. He shouted over the fence, saw him mowing the lawn. Can I do that with you? I yes, you can. I didn't even do Where's that. Where's your CV? There it is. I, like the I didn't even do that. He I came like, round and asked. I like the idea that he peered over the fence with his stupid lanky body and his weird shit spied and his neighbour his neighbour was more in the lawn and Rob just went teach me teach me, <laughs> teach me your me. ways teach show me. me the ways of the turf yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and he went, it was like Mr. Miyagi, but he's like, paint the fence. He's like, oh, you teach me karate? He's like, no. Strim the hedge. Strim the hedge. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember plumb the bathroom in being one of those. <laughs> I, I've, I think as well, though, don't you ever fancy, I would love a go on a ride on mower. Yeah. Have you been on a ride no, on No, we mower? didn't have a ride on. We Fucking just had a pushing ride one. Ons, mate. I, that's yeah. why I reckon I would happily hoover everywhere all day if I could sit on that Dyson, man. Really? If you could drive a Dyson. You could ride a house, rumba. I'd ride that at Dyson. I've been looking mm. into getting a robot vacuum cleaner yeah, and a robot um, uh, fucking. They never work. Lawnmower. They never Well, this is what corners. I'm worried about. Temperamental. Yeah. Then you're introducing AI into your house that will take over you one day. Oh, he's we'll been come home. Too much Black Mirror. No, we'll come home. Freddie will be just laid on the sofa like that. Bit of rumba co- on his no, dick. No, bit of cottage pie. <laughs> Bit of cosh pie on his mouth like that, and they'd be like, uh, "What happened?" His, his robot mower took him out I'll of the go, game, I, and he's just mowing your face. I, I'll go to cough, and loads of dust will come out of my loads mouth. Of w- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the okay. robot mower will have taken you out, mate. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Go introduce a robot into your house. I never, I, I seriously have you, have think. Have you not got any Alexas or anything? I've got an Alexa, but also this is the other thing. People are going to turn their back on these self service tills. I tell you, we're in a, we're in an. We're, I love the self service. No, we're man, in yeah. an era now. Uh, people will turn their back on all that technology. Nah, I think self service is here to stay, mate. I love it. Like, I don't, right? Because I like, I like being able to just not talk to anyone if I don't want to. Like, I like do a podcast, option. you idiot. Yeah. yeah, I know, but I get to choose <laughs> consensually, and like those people are on minimum wage. I don't want to speak to them I'm joking obviously. problem with Preston problem yeah. with people in the co-op you know what yeah. it's actually I'm middle class now mate it's this loving terrible it. this classism it's actually, on this pod like it's, it's, it's actually reminding me I went to the shops yesterday and I used a person and after every <laughs> in the uh, toilet um, after, it was an older fella you know like they do sometimes it's a bit sad in it where they go his pension's not mm. come through and he's like having to work tell you what's sad like really sad seeing an old person wearing a baseball cap at their job Oh god! If an old person's wearing a baseball cap, it either means they've got cancer or a shit job, and either way, sad. <laughs> but he was scanning my stuff, and after every time he, <laughs> and I, I just love how you just carry straight on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, He's got used to this. There's yeah. just not a moment of compression or decompression. There's just a, that's oh. not in the top fifty of the worst things that we've said on this podcast. Yeah, not in the top fifty. <laughs> after every time he scanned it, he'd he'd push it down. You know the thing, and he'd go it's a little ramp. There we are. Oh. After every time. Ooh. Oh, that's because it's a little achievement. But about 30 of them. So it was, boop, there we are. Boop, there we are. Oh, boop, that'd do me in. There we, I, by three, I was like... Can I you, get it. Yeah. I, I, I didn't say anything about which about, can you shut the fuck... You, oh! Yeah, no need for that. Robots in future. Yeah. It's easier. Boop, so I, I don't have an Alexa or anything though. Like my missus got me a Google Home for Christmas, and I was a bit annoyed because I have several times told her how much they freak me out. What? <laughs> I just I do not like having like listening in. Oh yeah, I don't want a microphone in my bedroom. Like it's weird. I just think it's like uh, I don't like I don't like that sort. Of... Yeah, I know, but that's not connected to Google. <laughs> yeah. That's different, isn't it? Yeah, I can but... turn these off. Oh, you know what is weird? Is this what... is what pisses me off about fucking idiots like you two, right? So it is. Don't lump me in. I've not even <laughs> had an opinion it's... yet. I'll tell you what it is is they go oh well the thing is is google's going to collect my data and they're going to use it to market things to me that i want good that's how marketing yeah, should not, fucking it's not, work it's not just that it's not though consensual is it? marketing though is not it? bothered i would wait i'm gonna much... fuck about the marketing bit of it it's just there's loads of other shit behind you, it I tell it's you, just gross i'll tell you what pisses me off though you when you do you know what? the constant feedback so needy when you buy something on amazon yeah. they're like was everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Was I just yeah. fucking posting yeah. notes, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Was he, do you think I've got time in my life to go? I, it's like you writing erotic fiction. <laughs> I used the post-it notes to run up and down my arse crack. <laughs> <laughs> and then Keith came round I might with start his cottage pie. I might start writing erotic reviews on Amazon. That is the angle, yeah. mate. That is Because th- 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 did you know the other one that get, though? You get the, is where have you been, Scott? You get that in a subject oh, box. Oh, yeah. We've an email. missed you. Yeah. Yeah. Being gaslit by a frigging <laughs> all, all I bought was a you know, a dehumidifier or a glade plug in. I, <laughs> I bought a glade plug in and they were just like We but miss you. Do you know do what that, though? Do you know I'll think though? of you every time is, I walk past it. Do you know what though? <laughs> is is that that algorithm smart enough to go, he's just ordered a glade plug in. 
he'll need the refill in three weeks. They are, yeah. It's and evil. That's, and that's what it is. It is evil, because when you do look at something and you aren't like, looking or buying something, it's then secreted through every web page, isn't it? Yeah, you get the advert in the corner. It's infiltrated, and you're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, how is it? Do you know what? There's nothing worse as well than when that happens and you've bought it. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, yeah. blah, blah. it's like, fuck off, I, I have it. It belongs yeah. to me. Stop showing it, me. It's here right now do you know? Do you know what else pisses me off as well? And it's on the same vein as what you were talking about, Scott. When, you know when you're using an app and then all of a sudden it pops up and goes, hi, are you enjoying us? Uh, Do you want to give us five stars? Uh, and like, I, I find that so impossible to answer. It's like, are you enjoying using this banking app? It's like, well, enjoying isn't the right word, is it? Yeah. It's like, either it works or yeah. not. I'm not going to be, I'm not like going on my banking like, yay, <laughs> look how little money I've got. Oh, taking it, taking especially with your career. Exactly, <laughs> mate, exactly. It's not a nice time. You want to you wanna sort of be really sarcastic and having yeah. a terrible day yeah. and then that banking app, Oh my god! Yeah. Just yeah. give me a, it gave me like a wind beneath my wings. Yeah. It was like yeah. a, it was like a herbal high. I write <laughs> I write this from a top of the fourth bridge. <laughs> like, Life had not been going well. I hate As it. I said goodbye to the world, I logged into NatWest Online, <laughs> and the experience was so flawless. It reminded me of the joys of life. Yeah. My like, memorable code was my birthday, and I thought there are positives on the horizon. <laughs> Like, I hate having to review and rate everything, especially people. I find it. I think it's like grassing. No one's, no one's gonna miss me when I'm gone. Oh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be in next week? Yeah. I'm gonna kick it down the further down the line. Yeah. Go on. What were you saying? So sorry. I was saying like, I hate how we got to like review everyone. Like you know, if you get a taxi, you got to rate them out. And anything below five means they're getting fired. You know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's like the the, the five yeah. star yeah. review system is f- fucked do you not everywhere. Love, do you not love the yeah. power though? No, because like you know, like like you've really like uh, someone would have to rape me to get less than a five star in an Uber. <laughs> like it's. Please tell me there's someone watching who wants to take up the challenge. <laughs> well, like I've given seven one stars so far this year. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but no, like it's like I I won't do it because if they get if their average drops below like four point three, yeah. they get fired. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, well, some people deserve to get fired. Yeah, but like, I, don't, I don't want to be in charge of that Have you heard career. that thing? Oh, my God, this is the fucking worst thing, right? Is it was a tip that was going around the internet about how to get great service in restaurants, right? Mm-hmm. It's oh, fucking I gross. Think, is, it, is it what I think it they is? They put, like, five bills on the table, yeah. right? And then every time they um, the, the server doesn't do what you I want... I was thinking of something else, I'll tell you in a minute. They take one of the bills off. Oh, that's like that thing of having fake presents under your Christmas tree and throwing one on the fire every time your kid's naughty. What do you, what do you... <laughs> that's not a thing. I've seen that, yeah. Fuck off. That's yeah. therapy waiting to happen. That's yeah. horrible. 100%. That's yeah. scaring. That, that one was a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just get some chicken bones from KFC, yeah. chuck them on the... God. <laughs> that's his charred little face, that, and you did that, Charlie. Yeah. God, that's awful. But that is what, like, if I worked in a the restaurant and someone was doing that, Christmas. that person's getting jizz in their food if they're doing that. Yes, if they've horrific. got the bills on the table, that person is getting their food fucked with. So when you it? see the bills on the table, like money on the so table. So you put, like, you know, maybe you put, like, five tenors on the table yeah. or something and, like, whip one off every time they do it bad. It's fucked that. Awful. I thought you were thinking, because there was a craze of people putting pubes in dinners. You yeah. said pubes, so oh, weird. Say like it again. Pubes. Pubes. You say yeah. it. Put soup in your chin. Put it pubes. No, put some in it. That yeah. pubes. Uh, did you see, there was footage of a guy doing it. Right. And he was filmed in a restaurant. I, I, and, and like he was eating something. Was it in Yorkshire? Uh, I think it was Preston. Oh, right. was it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I was going to say, imagine getting told, them's your pubes. Them's yeah. pubes. They're not Didn't my pubes. Didn't get charged pubes. extra. It's lovely. <laughs> they're not my pubes. They're the dogs. <laughs> and um, it, it, they, they look round and then they put their hand in the, did yeah. they even got the top? Toilet. Yeah. Put their hand down, just rank yanked and sprinkled on their own food. On their own food. What? And then they went, got the thing over. They went, oh, to complain and get free meal. Pubes in there. You wow. know. But then they could just take it back to the kitchen, bit of hand in there, yeah. but give you it back. But yeah, that's what you'd they did. know about whether or not someone was faking that because you'd know how upset they were. Yeah. Because if I if if I was midway through eating a Mackey D's. <clears throat> 
and I realised that my food was covered in pubes, yeah. I'd be really mad. Yeah, like, it would I'd be, be like, like, excuse me, can I have another one? I'd be, it's, yeah. It's getting tell escalated. Me, tell me you made this. I'm going to kick the fucking head yeah. in. You're not going to be, uh, might I have a refund, good sir? Yeah. There appears to be pubis all over my food. <laughs> Although yeah. people don't always notice. I've seen it happen, pubes getting put in food. I used to work in... What, as I've worked intentional? In, well, I've worked ripped, in... Ripped, ripped pubes, like ripped out of I've worked in. in various pubs and cafes over the years. And one of them that I worked in once, the, the BNP were holding a rally in our town. Right. Wow. And they, they came into our pub for lunch and it was a big like kickoff between like I had a big kickoff with the manager. I was like, We can't be serving these cunts and they were like, Look, they've got money, we're gonna do it. Our chef was Asian and uh so he he just he just went, Rob Payback time serve him. And I was like, Okay. Wow. And a sausage Is, that, is a- that what he sounded? No, he actually did. He's very Yorkshire, oh, right? right. Uh, but like, <laughs> Rob, Robert, I'm going to put me pubes in here, yeah. lad. So a sausage went up a bum. Pubes <gasps> were sprinkled in stuff. Good on him. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Genius. And like, I got to take her plates out to them and just be like, enjoy. To these awful racists. Yeah. That, like, they'd kicked off with one of our mates the night before as well. Like one of my, uh, like they'd, they'd like cornered one of my black mates in town and like threatened him and shit. But they didn't realise he was one a of, soldier. One of my black mates. Look at him showing off. Yeah, I've got, I've got three. <laughs> did you, did, did he say would you? You're bringing out extras for him. Yeah, oh yeah. Stuff yeah. they haven't even ordered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, uh, our chef Gary. Yeah. Sends his regards. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing payback that. Yeah. Sat and watched it all. Oh mate, I was watching from the bar, like just like. Yeah, so funny. It's like Fight Club, isn't it? Yeah. What? When Brad Pitt's character used to toss off into the soup. Oh, or piss yeah. into the soup, wasn't it? Yeah. That's not necessarily the bit that I remember from Fight Club. <laughs> yeah, like, it took me a this second me. to get yeah. to this that. Me. Yeah. I always remember restaurant service. I, was like, <laughs> I switched off at that point. I thought, I don't care about the violence, but uh, as soon as a man urinates in a, a mulligatoni, I can't continue. <laughs> It's, 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 I'm, not, I'm not accepting it. To, uh, if anyone does have a video of someone wanking into a mulligatawny, do send it in. Yeah. Do you know why we have rules at the moment? Uh, the rules for the videos yeah. are no death, no animals, no kids. No racism. No racism. Yeah. Do you think about holding amnesty on the no death one? Because at the moment, all we see is porn. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't be yeah, against. You're opening. You are opening. I wouldn't be against watching <laughs> really brutal injuries. That's right, all brutal I'm injuries is absolutely fine. Aye. But like, I've got, I've got to go through these WhatsApps so yeah, you can yeah. get fucked up. I don't send in fucking Rob, deaths. Rob is going to need yeah. to go on a course. I think, yeah. <laughs> like, I have got therapy. I have got crazy desensitized. You know, I was, from now on, I was choosing videos for this episode today, going through our WhatsApp, looking at the most disgusting things on earth, eating a sandwich. No, I'm just, yeah. I'm totally desensitized. Yeah, yeah, it's like. The the, uh, the, the people in the police that categorise child porn. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? After the third week, they're like, yeah. you know, category one, one, category one three, category four. <laughs> <laughs> you two Any are cottage awful. pie you left, are, You two are damaged, I swear. <laughs> right, I've got, I've, got a, I've got quite a fun one that isn't porn, actually, if you want to see before a video. We, b- b- before we get started with this, yeah. we'll show you some videos now, Scott. Yeah. Right. Is there any sort of genre or bit that you were like, oh, I can't deal with that? Is there anything in particular that makes you gay? I'm not upset? great with vomit. Okay. Okay. Good cool. to know. Well, we got uh, we, we, oh, <laughs> scat eating. Oh, Basically, right. anything you've got sent. I'm yeah, not yeah, great. yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think I think I've uh, I struggle. Um, it's interesting. I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, I'm all right with injury stuff to yeah. a certain level, but okay. yeah, anything. So we'll give you this bucket. We've, which is we've got the, the we've, sick bucket as the, sponsored the by Men Dead Men Talking. Right. Yeah, have that just in case. Just in case. Um, if guys, if you want to send us a video in while Rob's loading up, if you want to send a video in, it's oh seven five two zero six double four nine three one. Send it via WhatsApp, uh, and we did, well, Rob looks through them and picks the best, most broadcastable best. ones. Uh, if you want to check out the videos, <laughs> if you want to watch them for yourselves, they are on on. Our Discord server uh, for Patreons. Uh, Patreon is only three quid a month. Uh, you can sign up to that. Patreon.com forward slash uh, Dead Men Talk Pod or Dead Men Talking. Dead Men Talk Pod. Dead Men Talk Pod. Uh, and for that, you get access to the Discord videos. You get um, you get an extra episode every out. week. You get discount on merchandise. You get loads and loads oh. and loads of stuff. Um, so. So, um, let's let's let, let's crack some vids. On. Right. Well. Oh, I'm, this is an arm wrestling one. It's going to be a rotator cuff in it or something. Yeah. Like it's. It, I this, love how you've even. <laughs> this is one where you you've just got like, the medical terms yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is one where like oh, these are bad. These. I know. Like 
I've seen. Do you know what? It's his that's going to go. You think right? Okay, that's a fun one. Who do you, who do you reckon's going to get fucked up? So, so he reckons guy in black is going to get fucked I up. I think the guy in blue is too rigid there. Right. So you're going blue. Yeah. You're going black. And right. also, he's not got a proper grip, has he? Yeah. What What are the stakes? So, what are we betting on this? Um, you've got to make him a cottage pie and suck him off if you're. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind if we don't have the cottage pie. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Let's see who it's gonna be. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. Wait. Go grab someone. Grab someone. Grab. I love. I love how the grab guy grabbed someone. Grab I know. Someone. Like grab. Do you know him. what? Do you know what though? He still made sure that he looked, and then I've won. Yeah, I don't think you have won. It's a noise. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, and it's done. Oh, it's oh, so oh, high up his oh, arm as well. It's yeah. not just like it's not just his elbow. Do you know He's what? Got, has he got an arm made of twiglets or something? Because <laughs> he doesn't. He, the other guy isn't stacked, is it? No, the other guy's he's... not. Do you know what as well is great about it is if you go back literally two seconds, yeah. there's a minute where he holds it up and his arm goes, nah, and just flops. He's, like, he's, like, he's got that sort of horrified look of a man who's like, I've got to drive home. <laughs> I hope he's got an really, automatic. Yeah, I'm not going to change gear. No, because I, I think there is a moment like that. Whenever you have an injury. Yeah. There's a little never, moment I've, where you're like. There's a moment where you go, I need to reverse time. Yeah. This can't, can't be happening to me. I've never done anything touch wood I've never done anything I've never broken anything or something I've right. come really close a broken ankle <clears throat> I've come close before I've come close where I've stepped out not looked and a car has literally fuck and then you're like in your head you're like oh god I could have died mm. there yeah and I think it's that moment when an injury does happen or something where you go no 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 because then it all cascades yeah. in doesn't it what it's it crazy. means yeah, for yeah, you yeah. hospitals rebuilding I I broke a toe once uh, right. on the way back from Florida as a child. So uh, my, so my... They had disabled kids swimming with him. So ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freddie Dolph Quinn. <laughs> That's a fucking stretch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, it was in the airport, come back from Florida. Now... Florida, really, for for my family, it was one of those, we have to take the kids to Florida. It'd be a lovely thing to do. But it took them so long to save up that I was like 15 yeah. by the time. that they, It was like, I don't want to go to Florida. I want to finger women. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, And we went with another... It's a, it's, a, it's a really odd that they give you those two choices. <laughs> yeah. Also, not mutually <laughs> exclusive, I don't, I don't think. It's like a, a family holiday or fingering. What do you... Yeah. Let me tell you, the woman at first choice was horrified. Right. Um can't so, find it in the brochure. We actually had to go with another family as well. So it was somebody that my mum knew at work, uh, and we had to just share a villa, right? And it was shite. To it split was, the cost. Yeah, it was dreadful, right? It was absolutely dreadful. Yeah. Uh, it was one of those where uh, it was literally the whole two weeks was... No, one week was like, we're having fun though, aren't we? Right, and it was like... Yeah. Not really. It takes. It's a big stretch to share an holiday with anyone, you know. Yeah. You've got to be a. It's it's hard. I don't know who you could pick. You have to be so. It's a very very difficult thing because, to find someone to like, share holiday with. It's a test with. of a relationship. Your first like holiday together. Yeah. Even someone totally, you're married to, it's a test. It's a totally different environment. Yeah. Like me and my ex would just like every holiday we went on, she fucking ruined it by being a cunt, and like I should have realised. So, <laughs> had a huge fight all over Serbia once. <laughs> like, we spent a whole night walking around Belgrade screaming at each other, saying this is the worst thing that's happened in Serbia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, she actually, uh, she actually at one point shouted rape in Serbia to try and get some Serbian men to beat me up. Did Very, she? Real fun girl. She was a real fun she girl. She shouted. She shouted rape, and yeah, it turns out Serbians know what that means. Uh, but then, like, so like a load of Serbian guys like surrounded me, like, wow. you know, and then, but would would you like some help? Yeah. <laughs> like, luckily, thanks to the rampant misogyny in Serbia, I just sort of went women, and they were like. I get it, man. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. But fuck it, she was. Don't crazy. worry. I will hold her arms, and you can rip more easily. <laughs> 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 God, that's awful. So, um, I'm at this uh, F Florida, right. right? I'm at the airport, uh, and I shouted rape as loud as I could. <laughs> Lots of Serbians came over. It's fine. Uh, 
I was playing on one of those, it, it, you know, those punch bag machines, right? Yeah. So yeah. you know the, the one that you're really shit at. You know the sticky. Got less than Tony Wright no, at the didn't. Blackpool one. He, he did. He did. The, <laughs> you know the sticky brother of those uh, punch bag machines, which is the uh, football machines. Yeah. Where, oh, oh, you've got a ball on a chain. You try and kick it, and I, it yeah. no, it's on, on an the arm, isn't it? So it's whether well, the sideways ones are on an arm, but this yeah. one was like a goal. Yeah, and, and it's the goal got a goal on the screen, had a, and a you metal kick it. frame around it. And yeah, so I was practicing on that, right? And at the time, Roberto Carlos, I believe, had scored that absolute right. peach. And that was his free kick thing, the little tappy, yeah, tappy, yeah, tap, yeah, and then yeah. just putting yeah. your foot through it. So I was doing that with a big run up, tap, 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 tap. Yeah. Put my foot through it, kicked the ball, followed through, and just smashed the top of my foot against the. Me- and it was literally my foot just went. Pfft. Like yeah. that. I wish I, I could... could hear the noise that a nine year old Freddie made when he broke no! his toe. No, I was about no! like I, said, I was about I was about fifteen. Right. Right. Stone. So I, yeah, I was going over to America for surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Channel four were filming. <laughs> um, it was it was you know, it, it, yeah. I I'd broken and the minute that I put any pressure on it, it was blinding pain. Yeah. And so I was How like How far into the holiday? Uh it was this was the airport coming back. Oh right. right. So I said to my dad, I said, I think I've just broken my toe. He went, wait till you get back to Britain. Literally what he said. Wow. So so yeah. he said... So you don't want American hospital bills, said, is it? This is it. He said, it, you, you can wait till you break your toe for free. Yeah. yeah. He said, "He said you have to wait till you get back to Britain. And I said, I've broken my toe. He said, walk normally. Walk as normal as you can through on your go, heels, through the gate like the penguin on my head. must have looked like such no a... it looked like you had a kilo of erin up your ass <laughs> <laughs> why is he walking like that he's trying to clamp his cheeks together is that a, is that a drug mule is that yeah. a child drug oh, like mule? tsa like can you take your shoes off no no yeah yeah i literally no, minced, i literally can't mate. Yeah. mate i minced through checking it was like wow um it was it was horrific i went back i broke my toe but he made me do like what like a 10 hour flight Amazing. Brutal. Because he was probably like, we're not staying here longer than we have to, and I'm not spending three grand on a tour when it can get fixed in two days for nothing. Fair play. On my honeymoon, I put my uh, ring... Oh, wait, 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 wait. (laughs) The missus was making a cottage pie. I I put my ring on the wrong finger. Day two of the honeymoon, back on my middle finger, because I wasn't used to wearing a ring. Yeah. We had to go and have it cut off. (gasps) <gasps> day two day two oh. we've been swimming with dolphins ironically yeah. and uh, I, t- I don't know I pointed at you I didn't mean it like that and and, uh, and across the elf the, I thought the- you meant we've been swimming with dolphins ironically like you got there you're like oh oh we, we all do dolphins. this yeah, yeah. why do I ca- whose help do I really need guys <laughs> um, where do you go to when you're sad um, but I uh, I couldn't it was like in the middle of the night as well and we had a, down in reception they were coming like with like butter and olive oil and shit and like yeah. I, I had a dream you know sometimes when you're traumatised because I could feel it like the skin was yeah. buried over it yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know you, have you ever dreamt that it's been removed like right. something's I had a dream that it was been taken off yeah. the really, and I woke up in the morning it's going black oh Ooh. and I went we went to like their hospital and it was where in were you? Malta oh, I'm off Malta in a few weeks well the hospital back then wasn't great mate right. I'll, try not, like, I'll try not fuck I myself I don't know up. who the head nurse was Florence Nightingale it was that sort of like <laughs> it was like walking into like a war zone there was people yeah. screaming there was curtain like you know when you walk past a curtain and there's someone in there it was that like hostel yeah, yeah. you know like you walk past the door in hostel and there's someone having their eyeball drill and like ah, oh! and then um, they they di- I didn't know what to do. They sort of looked at me and they made me sit there like that, like I was insulting the country. Uh, yeah, like that for about ten minutes. And uh, they they got like a guy to come. I think he was just a porter, yeah. like a bin under his arm. Got a little just got a Dremel. Dip. Just yeah, it was like a little Dremel. Just cut it off yeah. and then went. You stupid English prick, and give me it back in my hand and. Wow. Yeah, cut it off day two. Jesus fucking it, But it was yeah. awful, that moment of the swelling. Do you know what I mean? You got a video okay. of it? No. <laughs> nothing say, like that. Like, unless it, I, I can't compete with that. Do you want to see a very impressive skill? Go on. This is genuinely impressive, this. Okay. All right. He look. Oh, hang about. Just pause it a okay. second. Let me just... Pause it a sec. So, so this we've is... Got, um, Iggy Pop. <laughs> just a like yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, a woman with. I'm gonna go out there and say it, horrendous tits. <laughs> They're fucking dreadful, those tits. Yeah. Well, you know, you are you are well placed to judge. They look like Adam Rose eyes. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? So, 
Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Is there's that... a woman. There's a woman bent over and appeared uh-huh. to be held in place over um, like a, a gymnastics horse. Yeah, and she's sort of like film. cling film to it, right? And then there's so Iggy Pop. This Iggy Pop woman has got a, a catapult. That it look, looks to me like a conker in its shell. It's a spiky conker shell. Spiky conker shell. Uh, and she's got it in a cat and she's firing it at this one's ass. I kind of find this quite sexy. <sighs> this is the problem with Quinn. Every now and again, one of the horrible one of the, ones one is of just the like kinks, into it. One yeah. of the kinks just taps we in. We just hit it. Yeah. Yeah. You change that con- uh, conker for a bit of cottage pie. <laughs> And turn around so she's got a mouth like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's what my cum was in the in, in the story. Oh dear. It's one of the cum balls. There we go. Yeah. No. No. No, that is... Oh, oh what a shot! It's amazing, isn't what it? What a shot! Isn't that incredible? I mean... She's having oh, a lovely time of it, isn't let's she? Not, let's not... <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's just a little bit someone's tagged on to the end. But isn't that incredible? What I mean, a shot. That you, is you, bullseye. Yeah, do you reckon they had to do loads of them? Like, you know um, you know Javier Harkin with his card ninja? Yeah, he yeah. has to, like, throw 100 cards before he gets it right. Do I you mean, reckon they've done loads of them? Or, like, cause there, there's none scattered do you, about. Do you know what it's like? It's like pornography. Porno- por- it's like pornographic archery. <laughs> <laughs> that is 10 points right it's there. Straight there. That yeah, is bullseye. Yeah. Just wait till you see the Paralympic version. <laughs> Who's getting anything out of that? She's had her legs cling filmed as well, which yeah, can't I be. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Um, but yeah, I just think it's do you an not, incredible do you not shot. Think, do you not think, though, like, there comes a point like that? I was thinking... I was thinking there comes a point, doesn't there, where it's just too much effort to yeah, get off. Yeah, I can't be arsed with that. I think, like, that now is getting to the point where you've got to get a ladder. Yeah. You, yeah. Have you got the... Like, I, I really, I'm in the mood. Oh. Right. Let's get to B&Q. Darling, can you pick can up three, ladder? three rolls of cling film? I need film. some cling film and the big rolls. The, not the industrial clip. Well, they ain't got any. Do, yeah. do we know anyone that does catering? This They're at a wedding. <laughs> give them a ring. See if they'll stop This looks like what you it's wrap just, up a pallet with. Yeah, it's just, it's too yeah. much yeah. effort. What I always think is like the post nut clarity when you've got to clean up all this equipment, yeah. you know. And yeah. you know what the other thing I was thinking of? It's like, you know, these people, because you show me those videos at a gig. Yeah, about I showed Peach, And I'm, I mentioned it. I was talking to Gemma about it. I don't know why, but but I was just sort of saying it must be a weird point if that brings you off pain, yeah. because everything then like you've been you framed. Your when you're you've like, been framed is proper oh, yeah. hardcore for yeah. you. <laughs> like someone getting smacked round the head by a bit. Come on, eat him again, eat him again. Just <laughs> just rewind and pause. You start rewind getting a boner pause. whenever you hear Harry Hill. Yeah. So like you, you, the worst thing is, is it, yeah, just a reaction like. Yeah. Duh, 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 Harry duh, Hill's duh, duh, penile burp. Every time you every time you touch a beat and max <laughs> beat a max cassette, you get yeah. a lob on. Yeah. But like it must mean just the concept of two hundred and fifty quid. You're like, Ooh. But, but anyone who has, if anyone has an accident, if you fall yeah. over, stub your toe, it's just giving you a horn. Yeah, but that I suppose that's be useful. But it's a good way of you know getting something nice out of something horrible. You but know, then it's you sat there in it. sat there in a walking centre with a massive stalk on. <laughs> What's happened to your eye? What's happened to your ear? <laughs> Tell me about it. What happened? Yeah, do you reckon people who get off on stuff like that, they end up working in like A and E? Of course they do. Yeah, they absolutely do. Can they book you in? And then they said, "Yeah, what, what, what have you done? I've put a drill bit through my hand." Tell me again. Yeah. Where's the drill bit? <laughs> drill bit, you say? It's in my hand. You're not even writing this down. That's, I just can't at the moment. That's why the waiting times are so long. Because having a wank every time. Yeah, hear. that's what it is. I'm just gonna oh, wait, put this what's in the record. This? <coughs> so. This is nah, nah, nah. Stop. Just pause it. So this looks like some sort of. On, <laughs> honestly, this looks like. This, Jesus Christ. This looks like a midwife in Cambodia. Can I just say, if anyone came to see me do stand up, I am like a sorbet to this shit. <laughs> I am like most. You are the, an amuse bouche. The, uh, the vanilla sorbet. Think you won that? Did amuse bouche laugh did. off? No, I made the final uh, take. <laughs> Uh, so this is like a it's it's a clinic and it is somebody with their legs up and it is a uh, woman just drilling to the inside of a yeah. of a of, of an anus. What I yeah I, I think it's it in the bomb. I don't know if it's a woman actually. This one I think it might be a ball bag above it. If we have a little I mean, what here. a fucking yes, is that there a ball is. bag. Yes, I That's think a ball is, bag. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Have you got any others to show? Oh, I've got plenty. Yeah. Go on. Let's have a look at some others. Let's. Um, okay. Let's... So that's a little fun one. I think there's something wrong with you, chaps. I tell you, the the, the problem is now is you've you're in that weird vortex yeah. where people are trying to get you 
more and more. It's gonna it's gonna get further and further yeah. along. The We're getting further and further away from God with every video. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it's it's it is like it's like. It's like Marilyn Manson, mate. If you read the story, Whoa. what happened to Marilyn? No, what happened to Marilyn Manson? <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose, yeah, that's not a good reference, is it, at the moment? No, I suppose it's like anything, like, it, it, it's it's that weird sort of trajectory of yeah. people are going to start sending you, like, mad oh, no, stuff. People started way too strong, and they've right. actually calmed down a little bit, because we went, hey, guys. Go hey. on, let's, let's, let's show them a good one. Let's, let's have a little fun one. We don't want to end up in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, she's not going to be sick on his dick. No, she's not. She's giving a blowjob. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh slow no! <laughs> no, she snotted all over his cock and balls. Horrendous. She snotted, Jez. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a fun one here, right? I, I see. I would say that Vix is your answer there. <laughs> She's not going to need any soda fed, is she? She's cleared out. You need a bit of albus oil or something. Right. Well, um, are you aware of um, Naked Martin, by the way? He's a bit of a regular character on this. Like, no. Okay, well... I've, we've... I'm fucking well aware of him. Yeah, you're well aware of him. Oh, because... should, should we show the videos from the other night? Yeah, let's show the videos from the other night. This was from the live roast. Naked Martin. Naked Martin is a man who you can pay between 30 and 100 quid for and he'll do anything with shit or piss or cum. So, like, yeah. So, we, we, we've had loads of videos from Naked Martin it's on It's a guy. This. It's a guy. Like, we're going to try and interview him with... We're, we're, he does this for a job. Yeah, basically. Um, so what happened at the roast? Is it different prices, like a car wash? Yeah, bronze, gold, the, 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 the worst <laughs> platinum. thing is. Yeah, so, exterior or interior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. what happened is, uh, the other night, one of our mates, who's asked not to be named, by the way, um, okay. right, has sent Freddie a video from Naked Martin, right, going, shh, don't tell Rob, right? We've got a little surprise. So, yeah. And this is let's what he sent call, me. Let's just call him Harry Cods. <laughs> Right, so he, so he sent this. He sent this. Oh my good god! It's a man jizzing all over Rob, isn't it? This is a little picture of me jizzing all over Rob. Oh, up. And I thought that go. that was it. That was the end of the video. So that's what that's what Freddie got sent. So what what uh, what the, what the plan was was. So this is the second half. So Freddie only had that first half. Oh, I know where we're going with this. So that got. Uh, so he gave that to the sound guy, right, at the uh, Colin at the Frog, right. Whereas I had already explained that Freddie would give him this prank video because our mate sent me the whole video and told me this was in place. So at the at the roast, Freddie's all smug, thinking he's thinking got a little it's just prank. You thinking it's just me. He's like, ha ha ha! I've done a little prank on you. Yeah. I acted all shocked, and then at the end, I was like. Did you not see the second half of the video? And he's like, what? What second half? The second half is here, a little picture of Freddie. You know this is like, it's like a really dirty shag marry a night. Shag yeah. marry a void. Yeah. Come shit on a void. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Oh. Oh, it takes him a little while, this one. He's got a little jug for his piss in case some dribbles out. Oh. Oh, here we I'm go. I'm watching this. It's like watching a dog. <laughs> Like he's very a, hairy. He's isn't like he? watching a bull mastiff. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, <laughs> that slap's fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the slap makes it actually. The slap's beautiful. Just the shakes it off, and then here we go. I love that he's got a little ankle bracelet on as well. It's nice. Really, there it is. Wow. Thumbs up, and then oh. No, 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 no. No, oh, my god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Uh, so that's Naked Martin. So someone has sent us in a contender to Naked Martin's throne. No, there's a bat. There's a fucking copycat Naked Martin. There's a copycat Naked Martin. I don't know what his name is. This is our new Naked. Oh, Martin. wait, wait, wait! Stop. I do not remember doing this. <laughs> Mate, you would kill to look like this. Zangi, I'd, I'd kill to be I'll tell you what, Zangi from Street Fighter 2 has let himself go. <laughs> so he's got a mohawk and a big beard and a nose piercing. And he's full on chimp wanking. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what though, right, is... Considering how hairy he is, yeah. his legs are incredibly smooth. It is weird, isn't it? His legs are incredibly smooth. He looks like, you know when you get those books when you're a kid where you fold it over and it's a different person's head, <laughs> a different person's body and legs? He looks yeah. like one of them, doesn't I'll he? I'll tell you what he does. A lot of spin. 
<laughs> because that's the lycra of rubbing the hairs right. off. Right. Maybe he's a cyclist it? or a swimmer. I think he's maybe a needs cyclist. It, maybe I needs think he's a, he's a very respectable cyclist. Throwing this sure. out there as well, considering he's about to do something probably disgusting. That bed looks horrible, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, his eyebrows are perfect. They are, actually. He spent some time on them. So he's he's wanking, he's wanking, he's wanking, he's showing his bum all that. Oh, and he's shitting on the bed. Fired that out. It's a lot more frantic than mine. And he's isn't picking, it? he's, oh, picks, no. he's like, picking the shit up, and he's rubbing the shit on Scott, him. It's all right. We'll give you a second just to catch up, Scott. Here we go. Why is he? T- oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's smearing it all over himself. Oh. <coughs> That reminds me, I've got a bathroom to grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That is just absolutely disgraceful. He's rubbed it all in his beard. Do you want to catch up, Fred? That'll be a bastard to get out there. It will. And he just strikes me as a man as well who hasn't got, like, a decent shower. Yeah. You know, look like, at that look, flat. That has got bad water pressure. Bad water pressure. Yeah. And it's like, that would concern me. Wait, yeah. is this... Belly button pierced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the least weird thing about this con. <laughs> like, why is that the bit you've picked up on? Do you know what I'd actually nice? say that that's weirder than smearing shit on yourself as a man having your belly button I pierced. Think, I, I think he might be a gay man. Okay, do you know what, though? Well, there you go. I'll tell you what is. It would be my guess. I must, a ad- gay man. I, I must admit, those uh, those doors are quite nice, though. The, the yeah. internal doors. Stripped. Well, well yeah, they're meant to be white. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I mean... Uh, yeah. yeah. New naked Do you know what? Contender. I'll throw it out there. I don't like him as much as Naked Martin. No, because Naked Martin has a Naked fun, Martin's cheeky a bit charm. vibe. Naked Martin has composure. Yeah, he does it calm. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna smear shit all over your no, whole body, I, I think do it with an element of control. Totally. Exactly. And Naked Martin has like, um, he has a real like sense of fun. Like everything yeah. he does, he's clearly yeah. really joyful with it. He's the like end of the up. pier, scat man. Yeah, like I genuinely love Martin's vibe. Like I really like yeah. that he clearly loves what he does. He's yeah. having a load of he's fun. A bit, he's a bit. He's, he's, he's a bit accessible. cheeky with it. He's accessible, and he knows it's funny. This he's aware guy, that it's funny this, to do this stuff. This guy you know? is more mental illness. Oh yeah, this guy's insane. And I think the insane. other thing as well is that about uh, Naked Martin mm-hmm. is he used the pause, the comedic pause exactly. of the drop plop onto your exactly. Yeah. And he knew Martin knows he what he's knew doing. he was building to a joke point. He's, yeah, d- yeah, he's yeah. done a comedy course, and he has. Yeah. He was like, "Don't go straight away. Too, yeah. too frenetic." Yeah, he's like the other guy's got five minutes. He's trying to cram too much in. Naked yeah. Martin's yeah, he's like, an absolute classic. I'm just going to keep it very simple. Yes. And I also like the addition of the Pyrex jug. It was nice touch. He keeps things clean. Yeah. Um, shall we? Shall we just show one of Freddie's favourites before we go? <laughs> no, oh. no, 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 no. I d- can't watch this, man. Oh. Freddie, oh. Freddie, watch it. Oh. You see, there's a there's a level there where. <laughs> Where as painful as that. Nah, but look at it. Yeah. I'm- Someone, uh, it's a dominatrix. Uh, for those of you that are listening at home, it's a dominatrix bashing a guy's dick with a hammer, look and it's the very end of his dick. Do you know what? It's weird because because the man in Scott wants to be repulsed, but the uh, DIY man in Scott <laughs> is looking and going. Lovely swing. That is Lovely a swing. that's a good hammer. That yeah. is also as well. Yeah, the accuracy of that because you do it tend was. to miss. I tell you what, yeah. that's what should happen to Keith. <laughs> that would be justice if the niece justice for Keith. out of the back pocket onto his thing um, <laughs> do you know what though it is that oh god you can only do he's doing that once and then he's gonna have to have about six months off yeah you've got to you've got to have a big break in between these ones I think a big no break. no the guy who's getting yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah he can yeah. like I'll you can't see do you one of those every I'll day. see you in six months yeah, yeah. well uh, you know yeah, if if you are into this, let us know how often you can have your dick hammered. How can? Yeah, there must be people into it, but I mean, yeah. it is baffling to me. Oh, completely. Yeah, I'm I, a very I really compa- like I'm a very compartmentalised person. Mm. In yeah. like bedroom, bathroom, separate. <laughs> Do you know, I don't even like ensuite. Yeah, Naked Martin's just knocked him through. <laughs> I don't even like ensuite because yeah. there's a temptation there. You know what I mean? I don't want an, an ensuite is a moment in the mo- you know if yeah. you want to know if you've got a kink and there's like you look across and you're like there's a toilet there. That's the worst thing. Whereas right. if you have to go, I've got to go around the corner. I've got yeah. to pass my daughter's bedroom. Like a, if a gamb- I'll have a moment when I'll be like. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, there's a moment of thinking there. It's like a gambling I mean? addict not being able to watch the adverts during a football match. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. the same. Don't if you if you have an on don't if you've got a kink, don't have an on suite. That's my <laughs> advice. Well, definitely. No, to be honest, imagine if, I imagine think if the builders said that contractors. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you into any weird stuff? I'd just advise against it. I'd advise against us. In fact, I'd have a shared bathroom with your neighbour. I think Naked Martin <laughs> should get a wet room, to be honest with you. He needs a wet room. If, you, if you're going to go into it, Although right. every room's a wet room for Naked Martin. <laughs> the kitchen's a wet room. I'm just trying to make a brew, Martin. He's yeah. everywhere. But I think if you have got a weird... I like to compartmentalise anything like that. Pain, uh-huh. pleasure, separate. I'm right. a very, I'm a very simple... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I I get that. I'm the same as well. I'm not really like, I don't really, whilst I'm totally desensitised, this doesn't do it for me. Do you want to see, do you want to, I'll show you a fun classic, like, uh, I love love how you're doing this, like you're offering me, this is a fun one. (laughs) Yeah, that's a man with what we believe a a foot, foot upper bum all over vagina. I think it's got to be vagina. In fact, no, it's got to be bumhole, hasn't it? Because otherwise, I can't where's... even tell. Well, where's the bumhole? Well, where's that the bumhole? Yeah, I think it's probably up the bum then. Yeah. <laughs> Scott just looks disappointed by it's this a, one. It's like he's doing cavity wall insulation. <laughs> well, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That cannot. It cannot be good for you. Well, thanks for coming on, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Finished with that. Cannot be. Uh, Finish with a bang. Yeah. Hey, it's um, been fun, isn't it? It's been is there anything that you want to plug? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that. I was saying, like, I was thinking about this driving you got, you here. you got some live dates, haven't you? No, because I, I was thinking about this Do you want day. our fans turning up? Well, I mean, this is my point, right? Everyone's got their own place in comedy. You guys are doing great. You're good about to take over the world. You've got an army The underworld, building. I think. No, no, but the, yeah. everyone's got their own place. Do you know what I mean? I quite like, although I look quite vanilla, I quite like extreme horror, and I quite like... Um, like um, Sepultura and yeah, Pantera. Stop porn? No, none of, none of that. <laughs> uh, l- l- let me get my point. Right, sorry. <laughs> you see, this is why you're damaged. <laughs> um, some of us in the re- the real world have got barriers. Um, but it's like I like I like things that are maybe a little bit um, left field that sure. c- counterbalance the things. I was thinking, if I'm promoting my podcast, which is essentially my wife and I having a chat on a Sunday morning over a cup of tea. It couldn't be more it, of a different vibe. But what I would say is, and I've thought about this, you know the post-wank guilt? Right. So after that moment of, of you know, you, yeah, you've yeah, done yeah. the business, and then you have that post when you think, oh, God, I, know, I need to yeah. sort my life out. Do you know what I mean? I should, right. have, I should have never left college. And it all, cr- it all comes steaming in on you. Yeah, yeah. At that point, you go, I need to look at something to rebalance my universe. Yes. That's when you listen to our podcast. Exactly. So you watch this, feel you watch this, disgusted, disgusted with yourself. Feel like you've let yourself down. Then the have a yin nice and yang of brew life. with the Bennett. Brew with the Bennett's BWTB pod. And then come and see me on tour, yeah. at which there'll be no naked Martin. No. There'll be no foots and anuses. But none of that. There will be a lot of high grade stand up comedy. A comedies. lot of high grade. Yeah, Scott, I, Scott is a fucking killer, guys. I would him. say that Scott is possibly the hardest person person to follow on stage exactly. yeah he's right up there right up there I think Naked Martin yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, Cogl- Dean Coughlin had to just do it at the, the roast and he, just because you're slipping all yeah, over yeah because you got to watch where you're stepping in Martin you said you weren't going to do that yeah. you know but yeah thank you that's very sweet scottbennettcomedy.com well UK I've been for saying for years you were my so. tip to be uh, to be fucking massive so thank you. Let me know pushing, when, well, let me know when that's going to happen I know mate really like, helpful I and thought it'd be a few years I'm joking in <laughs> just a couple of minutes he's going to realise that tip to be fucking massive is also a gateway Way for a fat joke. Um, oh yeah, gonna... Freddie's beating you to it because he's a big fat cunt. There you go. <laughs> it's every... Do you get this every week? Every, every week. Joey you know, introduces it. He says, "I'm Rob Mulholland," and he's a big fat cunt. <gasps> That's what I and do you know what? Yeah, Not that, yeah. once has he said, "Is that all right?" No. <laughs> You Not just have to accept it. We did it on the live shows. I did, yeah. I'm was... Rumble Holder, this is a big fat cunt. Yeah, and everyone cheered loads. Everyone was oh, so excited. Yeah. Everyone was like, and everyone that galvanises, which is one of your favourite erotic words. <laughs> 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 Mate, my alveolar sacs were crying. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that erotic literature. I think, I, yeah. I think I'm going to write one. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think I am, and then I'm gonna, I'll, I'll send a link. All I think right. I've got Beautiful. one in me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've definitely got one in me. Charlotte's yeah. had loads of pubes. Yeah, <laughs> pubes. Charlotte's yeah. pubes. <laughs> Charlotte's one. I might write that. Scott's one will be like, Keith, parked for free near the venue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's where it ends. <laughs> he saw the sign loading bay, and, but then he saw free after six, and that's when his <laughs> erection was charged. But then I would, I'm writing the follow up to Denise and Keith, oh, right. where Denise realises how badly Keith treated her, oh. batters him to death, buries him under the patio, shags his brother. There nice. you go. 
All right. A so, man who appreciates her. Yeah. Well, there's clearly, there's at least one person who's looking for a sequel, you know. Although, they, hopefully, the dick will have healed. Oh, by they're now. raw. Yeah. yeah, they're raw. Cause Get a bit of cocoa butter on it, mate. Raw because of your literature. Raw because of your words. The power, the power of my words, mate. Wow. Yeah. Uh, if you want to, uh, like, I hope you've enjoyed the, per- the, the podcast. Um, if you have, uh, like it and subscribe. And, uh, Get on know. our Patreon, you cheap cunts. Yeah, leave us a oh, comment. Oh, in oh, the- I want for free because I don't have much money because of the cost of living crisis fuck off give us some money uh, what Rob's trying to say is that we'd really appreciate <laughs> your support I'm going full Jamie Oliver <laughs> it's it's literally three quid and for that you get access to everything all the special stuff that we record Rob's punishment set all of when, our it, when lo- he says special stuff we record we've been <laughs> down to a local disabled school <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we offer a fiver to anyone who can say a sentence correctly <laughs> It doubles every week. You know, it's one of them challenges and run off a million quid. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, Three quid a month, you get access to all of our stuff. You get access to all the videos on Discord. Join the Discord community anyway. It's actually free to join. And there's a community of a thousand people just like you. Nice and messed up. It's absolutely horrible. It's great. Uh, Other than that, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Our guest has been Scott Bennett. Sign up to all this stuff. Scott fucking Bennett. See you later. Fuck off. Fuck off. (laughs) Fuck off.